is so cool! On with the review! Hey guys! Okay, so welcome back to another video, and we've got a merch review video for you! Yes, it's merch review time! And I've got to say, you've seen it You see it already in the clip, you've probably seen it in the thumbnail. This is something which is really cool, and really unexpected, because for a moment we thought we weren't going to get any of this. So if you don't remember, basically a couple of weeks ago now, all of a sudden a bunch of people, including me, found out that their Diamond Select Sonic merch orders had just been cancelled. That's it, they were gone. No more merch. We were like, no, no. Because for months, we had been like this young man. The merch is very awesome. We want it in our house. In our house, in our house. We want it in our house. Yeah, we were all sat down there going, I want this in my house! Bang, bang, bang! So yeah, uh, we were quite we were quite upset by that, and I was upset because there was a Sonic bank that I thought looked really cool and I really wanted that. Anyway, Diamond Selects got in touch with me and they said, Ah, no, 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 no! No, we have not cancelled our merch line. We don't know what's going on with those, but we haven't cancelled, and some of our new products will be out next week! And I was like, <gasps> oh my gods! Yes, if you can believe it, Diamond Selects are actually releasing the rest of their Sonic toy line. So, I put up another video telling everybody about that. And Diamond Select actually got in touch with me and they said, Hey, um, we really like your content, we really like your enthusiasm. Oh, oh. <laughs> and we wondered, would you, yes you, Bad Dick Mechanic, be interested in reviewing some of our products? And my reaction was this. And melted to the floor. But anyway, yeah, after some back and forth, um, Diamond Selects sent me um, the first products that they would like me to take a look at. And it arrived this morning! <laughs> yeah, check this out. This is quite a big box. So yeah, this arrived this morning, and I have already opened it, obviously, and looked in it. But anyway, it's something really cool. Oh! <laughs> it's the bank! Yes, it's the bank. It's the Sonic Bank. It's the thing that I've um, I really wanted out of all the Sonic stuff. So thank you, Diamond Select, for uh, sending me this. But anyway, we've got business to do, and that's to review this. That's the job. We've got to review this. So yeah. Um. Well. Um. Initial thoughts out. We'll, what we'll do is we'll we'll put this out. We'll go downstairs. We'll rig up the camera so we can get some nice close-up views on this. But uh, let's just uh, talk about it initially right now. So we've got some ideas to um. Well, what it's like. So the first thing is. Um, it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Yeah, the the original photos of this made it look massive, didn't they? Um, if I can bring one up on here, I'll try. I'll try and find it. If not, meh. But yeah, um, it's it's not small, but it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. But it's still awesome, and I kind of like it at this size because it's not going to take up an entire shelf space. You know, you can fit it in with some other stuff. But anyway, um, it's also quite light. Yeah, it feels uh, quite durable as well. Um. And I just love this. I love the fact that it's in this like unique kind of shape and design because let's be fair here, a lot of Sonic stuff that we get, um, maybe if I move to a side here, you can see. Look at my look at look at the display case. Look at the display case. Pretty much everything that we get of Sonic, he's standing up. Or he's doing some sort of, you know, the finger wag pose. We don't really get much like this, you know, with Sonic in his actual ball form, you know, where he's doing a spin attack or whatever. So I, I like this. I like the fact they try to do something different. And I've got to be honest. Like, like, let's just put this. Uh, let's just put it up on here on the shelf. That looks awesome. That looks so cool. That looks freaking amazing. It looks fucking amazing. That does. Looks so cool up there. And yeah, um, I can't open the display case. There's some boxes down here, but yeah, um, I will. I will show you some shots of it in the display case later. But that looks so cool. It looks so awesome as a display case. And of course, yeah, it is an actual bank, so you can store money in it. In fact, you can see the slot there at the top, and the but there's a sticker covering it. I tried to peel it off, and I ripped the sticker, so I was like, nah, not doing that. But anyway, yeah, um, this is such a cool item initially. So, what? Well, I say initially because we've got to look at it in closer detail. I don't think it's gonna suck. It can't be. It's a it's a bank, guys. It looks awesome, so it's doing its job. It's doing its job right now. So, yeah, um. Let's take a look at it in a bit more closer detail. So let's head to a different room and we will bring the camera down really closely so we can get some good close-up shots of this. In fact, close-up. But will the camera focus on the Sonic who? No, because it's programmed to focus on humans. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Yes. 
Ha-ha! Focus! Ha-ha! Focus! Ha-ha! And ha-ha-ha! Yes! Anyway, so let's go downstairs now, and we'll take some much clearer shots of this so you can get a good idea as to what it's actually like. Okay guys, now that I've brought the camera down and it's a bit closer, we can actually see this guy in some more detail now. And I've got to say guys, this piece is awesome. It really does look so cool. And I think one of the reasons why I like it so much is because it's in this, it's in his ball shape. You know, it's when he's, it's when he's about to do the, the spin dash or the spin attack or, or even a jump in fact. And as I said before, you don't really see um, Sonic merchandise where he's actually in the ball shape, at least not like this, where you can actually still make out his feet and his hands and even his face, you know, normally, it's hard to explain, but normal, normally, you know, you don't see it with this like detail. It does give this, it actually gives this really cool sense of movement as if he has just jumped and is tucking his whole body inside, inside himself, you know, getting into that ball shape. And it is really cool. So um, yeah, uh, we should. I should probably mention um, some slight negatives first of all about this because um, there's only two. There's only two, and yeah, I think I should mention these because some of you I think are instantly going to pick this up and want to do it. And this is kind of a heads up warning. So in the early video at the start, you noticed that I was rolling him around because I was curious: does he actually roll? Well, yes, he can roll, but there's a problem, and the problem is his nose. Yeah, his tiny little nose. So the issue is his nose sticks out that far. Eventually, the entire weight of the money box will be pressed on that point of his nose. And this has two slightly annoying problems. The first being, obviously over time, if you do it on a hard surface, there's a risk that it'll actually break off. And it also can scuff the paint at the end of the nose eventually. So that's a slight issue. You will want to sort of pick this up and throw it around, but yeah, you, you really can't do that. You, you really can't. You can Maybe you can get away with it on like a soft surface, like a bed or even a blanket, but I'm not doing it on this because there's a hard table underneath. So yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that here, but yeah, you saw it at the start of the video. So yeah, just be careful with that. And the other thing, this is quite unfortunate actually, when I was actually uh, playing around with it, I was able to scratch it. You can see there, there's quite a nasty scratch in it now. Now that is purely on me. I did that because I was messing around with it, like throwing it around and stuff. But I have to admit, I wasn't sort of throwing it around hard, like at hard objects or anything. So I don't know how the scratch has occurred, but it has happened, you know, when I've been messing around with it. So it is quite easy to scratch this, unfortunately. It is quite prone to that. So you do have to be very careful with this. And the reason why I'm saying that is it's designed to be a money box or a bank. So if you're putting hard metallic coins in, you want to be really careful that you don't accidentally drop one on the piece. Otherwise, it's probably going to take some of the paint off, which is a bit disappointing. But I suppose you can fix it fairly easily with like a blue felt pen. I mean, it's not brilliant, but you can obviously fix that very, very easily. But anyway, what do I think of this? I mean, guys, look at this guy. He is so cool and he's so awesome. And I've been looking forward to this because it was such a unique item. You know, we don't usually get merch like this again. Well, I do apologize. I'm not sure what's going on there with the camera going out of focus, but there we are. Yeah, I, I do really, really like the look of this and it is available now. It is actually available in some shops in America. I'm not sure about the UK or Europe just yet, but I'll get onto that at the end of the video. So yeah, guys, um, I'm not sure what else to say about it. Um, just take a look at it. I mean, there's so it's such a nice item. Really, really is such a lovely, lovely little item. Really impressed with this. And again, it it's my belief as well. Like, like this looks great. It looks absolutely great. Just sat there and it looked look brilliant in a display case. You can make really awesome stuff just out of basic materials. You don't need to have expensive materials and charge your fans a million pounds or anything. You know, it looks great like this. So yeah, thumbs up. Well done, Diamond Select. This is one really awesome piece. Yeah, quite highly recommend this, guys. What do you think? Okay then, guys. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed that slightly closer look at um, at the Sonic Bank. So yeah, um, like I said, um, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And if you pardon the pun, it's not gonna break the bank. <laughs> yeah, I think these things are fairly cheap. I'm I'm not entirely sure what the actual uh, price of these is now because um, well, you know, do you know what? I can't remember how much these things are. I know they're not that expensive. So I want to say they're about they're under twenty dollars. I might be I might be wrong. I might be completely wrong with that. But yeah, um, 
they're not that badly priced. And again, this is cementing my theory and my belief with a lot of Diamond Select toys that you can make incredible looking and even uniquely looking stuff and you don't need to get by, you don't need to make stuff out of ridiculously expensive materials. You know, this is just like, well, it just feels like some kind of standard heavy duty plastic. You know, it's not... It's not made of porcelain, it's not made of the finest china that money can buy. You know, it's just plastic, but it looks fantastic. It looks absolutely awesome. So there is the one downside, and obviously, um, uh, yeah, I, I kind of explained it in a close-up. It's kind of, it's kind of misleading. You want to play with this. You want to sort of throw it around and be like, go spin attack now, Sonic. Way off it goes. But yeah, you, you cannot use this to sort of throw action figures or badniks or play catch with. Because initially when I saw this, I thought, oh wow, we could have loads of fun. We could sort of throw this around and we could go, hey, catch, Twip. Yeah, Twip, there's a shout out for you. Hey, Twip. Hey, Ben, how you doing? So yeah, I could throw this at people. Justin, Sonic Toy Hunter, catch. Throw it to him as well, because I know he's got one. But yeah, you don't want to do that because it is it does get, it is quite a fragile piece. So I think we will have to put this probably in the display case, maybe on the display case, I'm not 100% sure yet, and just sort of admire it, because it does look so cool, it is fantastic. I haven't shown it from the side properly. On the back! Aha! There's the back, yes. So, it is awesome, it is so awesome. And thank you, Diamond Select, thank you for getting in touch, and thank you for bringing these out. Are these available everywhere at the moment? Um, I believe they are available in America. They are definitely in some comic book shops in America because I know uh, Justin Treasure Hunting Sonic, who's a friend of mine, found one and got one from uh, his local comic book store. So they are available in America, absolutely, definitely, 100%. I haven't yet seen them in the UK, but um, there's no comic book shops around here. There's nothing around my town. But yeah, um, so maybe they will appear start appearing in the UK because I know the bigger, bigger statues are. But anyway, Diamond Select, please keep on releasing this cool stuff because it is so cool and it's so good and it's so affordable and it's just awesome. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. If you want this in your house, if you're like me and are like, I want this in my house, put in the comments. Let Diamond Select know. Do you want their stuff in your house? Write in the comments, yes, I want this in my house. If you want Diamond Select stuff in your house, let them know, let your voices be heard because you know they're going to be checking this. So yeah, make sure you tell them that you want this stuff in your UK house or your US house, wherever you live, tell them you want this in your house. Thank you very much for watching guys and I'll see you again next time. Don't forget to give a like for Ball Sonic and don't forget also to subscribe and click the bell notification button. Anyway guys, see you again next time. Goodbye. We want it in our house! Ow. Ah, really hurts after a while.